everybody, welcome to Yoga with Sasha. Today is day five of our yoga journey, the morning 10. So, today we're going to be focusing on yoga for your back. It's going to be great if you're somebody who suffers from back pain, or also just to give a little bit of extra TLC to encourage strength and flexibility through this most amazing part of our bodies. So, get into something comfy. So let's begin by coming down to child's pose, bringing our hips towards our heels, resting our forehead lightly on the mat, bringing the arms around the sides of the body, resting on the ground, palms facing up. Just taking a few breaths to work out what's going on with you today, especially paying attention to the sensations you have inside your body. Taking one more exhalation, completely surrendering to the floor underneath you. Bringing the hands in front of you, pressing down, coming up onto your hands and knees. Let's warm up the spine with some cat-cow pose. So as we exhale, curving over. As we inhale, swooping the head down and through, gently arching the back. So the desire here is to wake up the back, bring flexibility through the spine, to listen to your body, moving in a way that works for you, breathing in deeply as the head comes up, Next, we can move on to moving the rib cage in circles. So we start by bringing the belly button towards the floor, then towards the left side, then up towards the sky, then back down the other side of the body to the middle. It takes a little bit of a while to get into a coordination with it. And it looks kind of odd, but play with it. It's a great way to warm up the spine and to encourage flexibility through your back. So just sussing out if any areas of your back feel sensitive, if they need any extra tension. You want to listen to your body and work with what feels good. Bringing the hands forward, pressing down through the fingers and gently pressing the heels back. So we can bend the knees here, pedaling the feet. Focus on creating length through the spine. See if you can feel some openness around your lower back, your sacrum area. When you're ready to come out, coming back onto your hands and knees and then bringing the hips back to come back into child's pose. This time the hands can stay out in front of you in active child's pose. Still give yourself a few deep breaths and really consciously relax your muscles on your exhalation. Coming back onto hands and knees, and then pressing the heels back to downward facing dog again, pedaling the feet, looking to create that length through the spine, maybe keeping the pose still if that feels good for you. Seeing if you can bring the head down until the ears are in line with the arms. So we can walk the feet up to the front of the mat, just hang out in forward bend for a moment. Letting it all flop down, moving the head a little bit, creating a little bit of movement. Pressing through the feet, inhaling, reaching all the way up overhead, Urdhva Hastasana, 
A little bit of a back bend here. If you want to deepen it, you can lift the head, lift the gaze to look up between the hands. If that's too much for your neck or your back, then just keep looking straight ahead. So it's really an open position this, so take this moment to really breathe using the full capacity of your lungs. And as you exhale, bringing the right arm behind you and the left arm across your body, turning the head slowly, slowly to look over your right shoulder. Inhaling, reaching it all the way back up, Urdhva Hastasana. Taking that full breath in. And when you breathe out, this time bringing the right hand across the body and the left hand behind the body, turning the head to look over the left shoulder. So the twist is beginning at the base of the spine and corkscrewing up your body. Being really mindful not to force anything. Listening to your back. If it doesn't want to come round too far, then it doesn't need to. On the inhalation, reaching back up, Urdhva Hastasana, feeling that arch through the spine, looking up between your hands, pressing through your feet. Exhaling, we come back to the original side. Left arm across the body, right arm behind you. Inhaling, reaching it up. Noticing what's happening at your feet. Seeing if you can distribute the weight evenly across both feet. And as you exhale, right arm comes across the body. Left arm comes behind you. Head turns to look over the left shoulder. <clears throat> Head turns to look over the left shoulder. Big reach up to the sky and then coming down through the center line of the body. Hands in prayer pose at the heart. Taking a moment to check in with how your body feels, especially your back. Inhaling the arms all the way up, exhaling, folding forwards, trying this time to keep the length in your spine. So by this I mean a lot of us spend a lot of time in mobile phone asana. The shoulders are hunched forwards, the spine is curving over. The challenge here is to see if you can keep your spine long. So inhaling up halfway, flat back. Feeling that length in the spine, and then as you exhale, keeping the length in your spine. Keeping the knees a little bit soft. You can root the hands either side of the feet, stepping the feet back. Coming onto your hands and knees, drawing the hips towards the heels, and we're back in our child's pose. Again, feeling this openness through the hips. This is an amazing pose if you have a job where you're sitting down a lot of the time. It's really good for opening the hips and creating decompression through the lower spine. Inhaling back up onto our hands and knees. And you can thread the left hand under the right, bringing the left shoulder towards the ground, the left ear towards the ground. You can reach the right arm in front of you. And here getting a beautiful twist through the middle and lower back. Exhaling, coming back up to hands and knees, posting the other arm through. Bringing your ear right down to the ground. Flopping down to the ground, releasing. Bring your hand back under your shoulder gently, coming back to the middle of your mat and rolling over onto your back for Shavasana. So we've